was a crypto muscle crypto muscle crypto muscle I know fake lasers the gimmicks internationally renowned worldwide sing this is where it's at crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network coming to you with another YouTube video and yes pumping iron and pumping crypto crypto muscle here bringing you another wrecked collaboration video because all in all these three are just wrecked all right hey money tree didn't even get a, a chance to wreck itself because you know Tiwi had to go the old typical uh, ways of what other people do in this space when it comes to platforms and everything is take the money <laughs> that's just what a straight up what he did and of course uh, the only ones that would ever, all right, would know would be him and uh, his his dumbass Australian buddies that he always hung around over there. They're probably in on it too, especially the ones that were you know close to him as when they would do like the what do you call it, live stream and stuff together. He would always have his like two buddies. That are in the vicinity, and uh, they probably know too that he took the money, because they've all been silenced anyways. But anyhow, happy Memorial Day! <laughs> yeah, Memorial Day, dog days of summer is approaching us. Uh, we're at the end of May, and Memorial Day is kind of like the kickoff to summertime festivities of just blazing sun, beer. I always say beer because, you know, it's associated with hot weather. I don't even drink beer. I know, right? A guy like me, 6'2", 220, and uh, pumping iron, pumping crypto, but don't drink beer. <laughs> I don't even drink liquor. Like, I, if I do, it would be like on a, on a vacation or something. You know, I'll drink like a, you know, shots or mixed drinks or whatever. But I really don't drink, you know, and I don't have the craving for a drink. I mean, my my drinks I like, if I'm not taking supplements, would be, uh, you know, straight up. If I'm drinking water all day long, I need a soda. All right? So I'll drink a soda, you know, just to kind of change things up on taste and flavor. And I enjoy soda with the dinner, you know, just like soda with barbecue. But yeah, enough of that stuff. You know, it's Memorial Day weekend. I mean, it's just what it is, right? And so... Um, Another week goes by and uh, these wrecked platforms are still here for the moment. But these wrecked platforms, um, you know, is it, ripen to just end, you know. People will soon have enough, except for the diehard idiots that still think there's something that's going to come of it. Or they get talked into doing it because other people are going to say, Oh, it's so cheap. It's so cheap. Right? I should have bought some at that price. I should have bought some. Right? Every time those idiots would say that, Oh, I should have bought some. You know they're just saying it. They don't mean it. Because they're idiots. They're trying to get you to fall for it so they could dump it on you uh, when the price goes up. For that little blimp. Blip. Not blimp, but blip of a moment of a pump <laughs> that's when they dump because they're trying to get it as high as possible but it's really not going anywhere so they'll just sell it anyways All right but yeah money trees long been dead um it's just the associations with drip with the associations of pulse chain you know it's just kind of like this uh lineage that's happening here of of uh lining up with one another because Money Tree said, oh, we're going to get Drip to fix this. Drip says, oh, we're going to Pulse Chain, right? Because they wanted to create Splash and Headline when they... And it, it didn't do much, right? And then Pulse Chain has really nothing to go on except, you know, idiot hexagons and stuff. I think stuff is going to be, you know, all-time highs ever. But, well, I mean, when you look at the market and... I wouldn't say all crypto, but a lot of crypto is at all-time highs, but yet not a pulse from Pulse Chain. 
Uh, that really tells you something, right? Yeah, so we know that Money Tree's long been dead because Tiwi took the money. And, um, yeah, you know, the story is that he had some explaining to do, man. Right? You know, he tried to act like he had money. You know, so he, you know, remodeled the house. You know, tried to impress the wife. Bought a new car. And yet, it's like, where'd you get the money from? I mean... Oh no, I got it from you know this this you know from the projects and stuff we got we got going on, but yeah, he was deep in a hole because he wrecked on trading, he wrecked on every picks of pro of, of shit coins that he would pick, uh, he wrecked on platforms that he participated in, I mean when you name it, it's all been wrecked right. The biggest wreckage of all was his dumbass try to compound his way to a hundred k. In that stupid platform, uh, man, what's that dumb platform called? I don't even know what it's called anymore, but it was a shitty platform. And you know, he would do shit like he believed in it so much that, yeah, the crypto analyzer, right, pulled 10 Bitcoin out of it out of this platform. And when he did that, it it knocked it offline. Right for the for the moment, uh, they had to go into maintenance and go through some issues to fix it. Right, but it, it did come through. And what did Tiwi do? Like a dumbass? Congratulations! Congratulations! Uh, congratulations! He did a congratulations video to to the analyzer. He's like, get the fuck out of here, man! You're garbage. Like no one would ever do that shit, except for Tiwi, right? Dumbass. And and uh, I'm actually surprised that that platform allowed 10 bitcoins to be taken out of that of that platform. Um, man, it's so way beyond now. It's in the past that I forgot the name of it now, you know. So it, it made Tiwi believe that if he compounded, continue compounding, and that when that payday will come, he'll have a six-figure payday, right? He was just hoping that he'll get that 100K because he always dreamed about it, salivating about it. And then when that time came and then the platform in, in itself wrecked, went offline for good, man, it left guys like Whale Miner and Tiwi all sulking and crying in the corner. And it was just funny. And it was it was, it was funny when uh, Tiwi actually published a video you know, showing how sad he was. He was just a sad dude, man. It was just so funny. He was talking about he needed a little bit of a break, but he wanted to talk about it at the same time, express about what happened, you know. And But he was just sad, you know, sad little puppy. And I just laughed. I just kept, I watched and I laughed. And uh, it was just the funniest thing ever. And that's what made me laugh at these wannabes, right? Because all these wannabes in this space that try to act like, they're making something of it or, you know, just something to, to fool everybody and to thinking that, oh, yeah, it's the greatest thing and and uh, or they're buying stuff and they're not really making it to, to, to really do that stuff. It just makes you laugh, right? Another one. Here's another quick story. Bitsway try to live off of Moonberg of all platform. Moonberg? Some shitcoin platform, right? That... Um, it was pegged dollar for, you know, per coin, right? Per token, coin, whatever. And yet, it was going to eventually be depegged, right? Because they all do. All these platforms that start off with stable dollar uh, shitcoin tokens that go dollar for dollar, you know, they're pegged, right? Eventually, they're going to they're gonna get depegged because that's just the way it is. They want it to go free market and whatever happens, happens, right? And in all platforms, they get pumped, they get dumped, just like anything in, in anything in DeFi, right? Uh, Oracle Oracle said it, you know, a long time ago. He said it like this: that ICOs of back then are today's DeFi, and that's just what it is, straight up. But think about it: all these ICO shit coins back then, pump and dump tokens and coins, if you know whatever you want to call them. I mean, it's the same thing going on today. It's just that ICOs is you know the acronym is taboo. So they just call it DeFi today, right? Is this the same thing going on in DeFi, right? Just more variations, right? Oh, NFTs and meme coins and stuff like that, right? And so it's just, 
you know, that's, it's the same thing back then as it is now. All right, they get depegged. All right, if they're dollar for dollar. They eventually get depegged at some point, right? So, um, Moonberg was just one of those same kind of platforms, right? Starts off at stable dollar, showed a little bit of promise, right? And then they eventually want to depeg it because that's just reality. But dumbass bits away would be like, oh, look at this, guys. I'm moving, I'm living off of, I'm living off of crypto and stuff like that, right? It's like, dude. Uh, and it, nobody's nobody except for that one guy would live off of that shitty platform and uh, you know try to show it off like that all right uh, I don't know why you would think you could live off that. that's just common sense <laughs> in crypto so of course it didn't last very long and then he was <laughs> living on sad times too tell him uh, uh, life is hard life is hard right now and what did he end up doing moving back to his mom's basement that was that's real. He even said, "I'm not making the shit up." He said it. He had to move back to his mom's basement. <laughs> what a, what a joke, man! These guys are jokes in this space, man. So you know, uh, love the stories. You know, love the stories in crypto, but um, you know, and so you know, drip, drip came in the picture because Tiwi said, "Oh, Drip's gonna rescue rescue the money that's been wrecked in this thing." You know, we're gonna keep bringing it back with. With uh, we're gonna work on it with through Animal Farm and all that good stuff through Drip, and so it's gonna be it's gonna be okay, guys, right? So uh, you know, at first he was doing weekly updates, and he was like, no, there's no point in doing weekly updates. I'm gonna start doing a monthly update. So he did it for a couple more months, and then after that, just never came back again. And that was the end of Tiwi for good. He re- took himself out of Telegram. To, I, mean, I mean, he took all his videos down in the very beginning after he took the money. I mean, it was a good. It was good that, that and two things, right? That he took everything down because he said that he needed to uh, kind of um, collect himself, you know, like just to kind of collect the thoughts and everything that's going on because he bracked and everything and he needs, to, he needs to fix everything. So he, had to, he just took everything down just because uh, he needed to refocus and things like that. Okay, a uh, funny excuse, okay. And then he started doing these little updates, you know, just only on Telegram, right? And, you know, I'm working on it, guys. And he would shoot out little bits of BNB, like some 0.35 BNB and all that stuff, you know, just to say that he's working on it. It's like, get the fuck out of here, man. You're straight garbage. And so uh, he ended up doing that stuff for a little bit. Here, here guys, I, I, I got a little bit more BNB today. And, you know, here's point. Here's 0. 0.65, right? Not even like one BNB is like 0. 0.6 and 0. 0.15 and all these little shitty, you know, shatoshis of uh, BNB shooting out there saying, I'm, I'm working on it, guys. Get out of here, man. No one believes that shit, you fucking garbage, you know? And so uh, it, it, it was doing, he was doing that for a little bit to make it look like he was being, working in good faith. And then next thing you know, he just completely stopped. All right, and then removed himself out of Telegram because he's a piece of shit, right? And so he knows that if he ever was to come back again, man, people would be all over it because, you know, he's trash anyways. Why would anybody care about him, his credibility, and anything he has to say? Because he always had shitty picks. He was a shitty trader. Yeah, everything about him was shitty. And then, of course, he stole from everybody. So if he ever has the balls to ever come back, man, people would be all over it. And there's there's no way he would, in good faith, be able to do anything ever again. So yeah. And, was, and so the second fold to that, taking down all your videos and all your stuff of your liking, uh, that was a good thing too because um, it, it's just good to just go away for good. Right? So going into drip, so yeah, this is, this is dead dead in the water trash right so uh of money tree so going into drip now right drip's been dead for shit <laughs> it's been dead all right it's been I, mean, I don't know how to explain it but it's been so dead that you got you can say it's been dead for months right months and months and months and um but you'll have 
you could tell just by in the chats is not what it used to be, right? Uh, they had little blips of uh, talk and chatter when there's like Drip X, for example. You know, they thought that's gonna, you know, resuscitate Drip itself, but didn't do nothing. And they think Swap X is gonna be another one that's gonna help this thing. Nah, that's not gonna do nothing either. So let's see here. <laughs> Drip, my friend, put 10k. My friend put 10k in the drip, and basically it's worth nothing. 10k in the Bitcoin, different story. Choose your project wisely. Yeah, if you were to pick, if you were to, uh, if you were to go and pick Bitcoin, man, if you put 10,000 into that, whew, I mean, yeah, can't argue that. Well, I mean, nobody would have saw it coming, but still, it, you can't argue that though. And yeah, 10K into drip, you gotta be, oh man, 10K into drip? I mean, that's just straight up balls, man, to do that. There's no way I would put 10K into any sort of coin project. You know, it's just crazy. The chart looks like acid being poured on a shit-filled floor. Well, yeah, I mean, look at it. <laughs> look at it. It's been dead. You can tell it's been dead ever since Forex went away, right? In in hiding, <laughs> and back in November, his last post was November of 2023, right? Where's that at? Over here. And back when it was still a penny. And then after that, it's just been half a penny since. But. Yeah, I mean, if you guys were one of those guys that bought it at these prices, like T we did, <laughs> man, how, how do you how do you explain it now? How how do you gonna spin that? Oh, it's gonna come back, right? It's gonna come back, guys. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it's gonna come back. All right, I'll, I'll just I'll go along with that too. It's gonna come back. But yeah, so funny shit though. Uh, let's see here. Imagine. Uh, let's see. Imagine if we had stacked in BTC the last couple years instead of falling for this scam. Wow. I think that's more of buyer's remorse right here. I think he bought into the drip, you know, thinking, oh, man, all these guys, the YouTubers, right, uh, you know, Stun and Breezy, oh, man, and Barter Clown, and oh, my gosh, man, they look like everybody's balling. So I'm going to do that, too. And next thing you know, that's buyer's remorse talk right there. That's on him. Uh, this, this coin has the most bearish chart in history. Yeah, I mean, when it's flatlined like this, it's dead. This is, this is dead. See, in the past week, <laughs> so, uh, 0 0.00623 to 0 0.0628. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so a little pump action there in the last seven days. But it looks like it's starting to, uh, wane down a little bit there. In the past, yeah, drip. I mean, there's a reason why Forex is, hasn't shown his face in a long time or his voice in a long time is because there's nothing to speak for it, you know? Oh, and by the way, Trump pledges to free Silk Road creator if reelected. Mm, very, very fascinating. Fascinating stuff. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go to the drip. It's funny how they just talk, right? And then anytime you try to ask questions, right? You know, the barter clown would try to just justify how, you know, it is what it is type of thing, right? So this is funny. When I jumped into the major opportunity we had back before Manafort, I never dreamt of being in this position. Forex was vibrant and sincere about drip. I bought as much drip as I could comfortably afford and brought in family and friends because of this belief. I know nothing was ever guaranteed, but I believe in Forex's dedication. Last week I had a dream that Forex renewed his love for Drip and returned to Drip for glory. Yeah, because he hasn't come back to do anything since November. So that tells you something that maybe it's been abandoned. Maybe. Bought another 20k of W drip for around a hundred bucks. Literally no risk at this point. In my opinion, upside potential is huge. Is it? Well, I mean, if it's going the other way, how's the upside potential huge? I think you just lost your a hundred bucks, buddy. 
Especially if you had drip millions, you're going to believe, of course. Uh, there was a time when your $100 would have bought half a drip perspective. So they're trying to comfort each other because they're in pain right now. You know, they're, where is Forex? Yeah, because he's been taking a long break. All right. And, um, yeah, the, the thing about it is that he's abandoned it. All right. It's, it's gone. Drip's been a foregone conclusion. And so, uh, it's, it had its run, you know? And so I don't know what to tell you guys, but it had its run and it needs to just, you know, die for good. All right. <laughs> Look at this. Forex shark for prison 2024 is pretty funny. Uh, this is an old update too. What happened to triple D, you know, and all this other bullshit stuff, right? No, it's just funny. But yeah, so, you know, all this bullshit talk, you know, and what's this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, whatever, you know, it's just funny. Bought 20K of W Drip this week for 100. Oh, yeah, he already posted that. Yeah, these are just the believer that's trying to hold on to something that they're hoping would come back. Like, when it's a failing project, why would you buy more of it? You know what I'm saying? Like, they think the upside, but yet it's like, um, I don't know, how would you think that? <laughs> and uh, especially if it's been failing for a long time now. Like, what makes you think all of a sudden it'll just turn around and get you something back? But yeah, so Animal Farm's long been gone. All right, long gone. Let's see what Animal Farm... Let's see if they uh, brought it back up. Maybe they just put it in maintenance, you know, and it's going to come back. So let me see here. I'm going to refresh this. Let's see. Maybe they're just putting in maintenance, you know. I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt because that's the person I am. You know, let's see here. What's going on? I'm waiting for it to load. Come on, Animal Farm. Let's go. Oh, shit. It's still not back. All right, never mind. That's dead. They took it offline. They just let it go. And pigs... Is this the lowest it's ever been? I don't even know. Let me see. No, it was all-time low. Hit 22 days ago at four bucks. But yeah, it looks like it's fallen down a little bit for the past week. Past, I'm sorry, past week is falling. Yeah, for sure it's fallen down in the past day, and then in the past week, it's down like what 60 cents. All right. So that little bit of a pump action in the past month. All right, we hit all-time lows, a little bit of a pump. Maybe someone saw the $4 price and thought, oh, it's so cheap, it's so cheap. You know, so they bought some and it pumped it to 11 Some of you guys could have dumped at that point right there. But now it's back down to where it was a month ago. <laughs> where it was a month ago at 670 is now down to 617 So, yeah, pretty funny. All right, and... um I mean, what is the point of it at this point if the animal farm's gone, right? If animal farm's gone, I mean, what can you really do with it? You better just dump that shit while you can right there on Pancake Swap. <laughs> you know, I guess it's useless at this point. Anything here as of late? Let's see. Yeah, same thing I talked about a week ago about Triple D and Black Cube. There was all this talk about it, but yet, what happened? You know? At this point, Forex is the most trusted dev in DeFi. You can trust him to overpromise. True. He always overpromised. He'll set deadlines. He suddenly blows past and demonize anyone who recognizes that. And at best, deeply unprofessional. He's a scammer. And his cadre, like barter clown or vampires, to take and take and take, never give. Yeah, so, yeah, that, I mean, it's true. One thing about Forex was he over-promised, right? He'll talk, talk, talk. He'll go, oh, he's going to do this, going to do that. And then he'll have his, uh, you know, bitch over here, barter clown, to um, push that line too, right? Uh, on the YouTube front um, to mark out and do all that stuff and pump it. But yet, in the end, Oh, always, always oversold and, and under-delivered every time. 
and always late on everything, super late, never meet deadlines, you know, things like that. So why even bother, you know? So yeah, so that's uh, pigs. Dogs are slowly creeping downwards more and more, right? It was a good ploy that I called it out, you know, the week ago, so about 192, 194, same thing, flat for the week, right? Um, let's see. So, yeah, it was a good ploy. I called that shit out, by the way. When I said, you know, that when Animal Farm originally got exploited because I was told, no, 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 it wasn't an exploit. Yes, it got exploited. That's the reason why they had to take the contract offline originally. And then the screw job came into play because there was nothing wrong with dogs. But they feared that if they didn't close the dogs deal either, that everybody's going to dump their pigs into the dogs and dump the dogs out of it and destroy dogs. So they pulled that offline as well to quote unquote rework the contract, which they did, but but they didn't have to. Um, but that really showed that they... They knew that they were going to lose a lot of money if they didn't pull that one offline either. So, good ploy to for a cover-up. And yeah, it got exploited. Alright, so they put a band-aid on it with new contracts and the rest is history. But yeah, so this shit's dead. All this shit's dead. I mean, you could virtually call it drip dead. You'll have these minor pumps here and there. Dumbasses buy into it and and egg each other on and say, oh, it's so cheap, it's so cheap. But yet, was there, what are you getting out of it? You know, you're wasting money at this point. I mean, if you like holding shit coins, all right, cool. Then <laughs> I guess you want to hold it. Go ahead. Go ahead and be like Ellie Yan and that, that no, you know, shitty other YouTuber that's no longer in, in the space. What's his name? What do you call himself? Um, My Crypto Project. Some dude from the UK that kept on buying shit coins and, and going to shitty projects as well. And uh, he was so shitty. I mean, terrible. Terrible. One of, one of, Another bad YouTuber. Right? And when he decided he's going to reboot, revamp everything he's doing, he started with buying, you know, random picks. Saying that he's going to start spending $100 every week on different cryptos to just build a wallet on because he said in time all these coins are going to, it's going to eventually go up in value anyways right uh my take is that well let's see if you're not doing youtube videos anymore because one nobody cared and two um doing that shit will still get you wrecked anyways because not everybody's going to buy shit coins like you all the time and and just have a full wall of shit coins. So I'm, I'm assuming all that stuff's in the negative. So you wasted all your time and money and efforts for nothing. All right. And so, yeah, my crypto project garbage gone as well. It's funny, man. This is like a dedication to dead YouTubers, you know, in this space. Garbage as well. Bad YouTubers. Bad. <laughs> all right. And uh, this is funny. Um, the stories, you gotta love the stories in crypto, right? Crypto music, I remember he was one of those guys that was kind of, I'll, I'll give this to him, right? The, the music stuff was pretty cool when he first started and then he kind of just went off of that, you know, went away from it and, um, should have stuck to that, right? Because that's the theme, but no, he would just go and, you know, and the thing about it was pick shitty projects, shit coins, and of course what happens now no more crypto music, right? Uh, it's just, it's just, it's inevitable, right? All these shitty YouTubers, when they mix themselves up into these shitty platforms and shitty coin picks, what happens, all right? Uh, it's a recipe for disaster and they all go away, right? Where's Maddie Crypto at? Same thing. Shitty, 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 all gone, all right? Uh, where's all the, the Hex podcast stuff, right? Or Pulse Chain podcast and stuff, right? Dedicated to talking about Pulse Chain and all that stuff, right? It started out as a weekly thing to semi-monthly maybe, maybe if you're lucky, or semi-yearly thing to where it's really nothing. Because uh, I can imagine when's the last time that shit's been talked about. It's probably been uh, months, uh, months and months and months, right? 
I'd be very surprised if uh, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna look for this right. Let's see here. I want to try to see if I could find anything on that. Let me see if I could find them. Uh, not these guys. I'm talking about the shitty Maddie crypto. All right. Uh, to try to think, there was something of it. <laughs> Is this the one? I don't know if this is the one. Let me see. Yeah. A year ago. <laughs> All right. A year ago. So, yeah, don't so don't bust me up with bullshit, all right? Uh, it's just what it is. Uh, let's see what was the last time you talked about anything whatsoever. All right, let's see here. We're going to go straight to it here. A year ago. All right. Don't bust me up. All right, no one gives a damn. All right, and you know why? I'll tell you why. Because it was a disappointment, right? All this talk, because that's all it was. All the talk, all the, the, you know, blowing up steam and all this other crap, the build up, right? An anticipation, a pulse chain, and then to his launch, and... It's been a failure. It's been a disappointment. It's been one of the most overly, overly hyped, underperforming, and under, uh, under everything, underwater, everything about it was not what it was thought to be. And that's just a bad disappointment. And it was great. I mean, brilliant strategy by... Richard Hart to pump the shit out of Hex and to kind of build this momentum that he could have lost, right? Because he kept delaying the, the pulse chain and all that. I mean, you, you can argue it all day long about ways he could have launched pulse chain at different times, the buildup of it and everything that went into it. And to me, the, the swerve from we're going to be better than B and B, was that smart? You know, B and B smart chain and all that. Um, to something of uh, we're, we're trying to get away from Ethereum. You know, the Ethereum network is so clogged with gas, gas fees and all that, and heavily used. We're trying to be we're trying to be better than all that, right? So we're going to go into the Binance smart chain. Right, we're gonna we're gonna be even better than them. All right, that's hey, that's some good good talk. And they couldn't get their act together, get their shit together. And so they tried to try to try, delay, delay, delay. Right, they try to get you uh, uh, distracted with the Zen stuff. Right, right, just to kind of take your. Uh, I mean, <laughs> when you look at Zen, right? Let's see. I always like to look at. The ever-growing minting supply of uh, 100 trillion, as in, has no max supply because it just keeps minting and minting and minting, right? So uh, imagine that though, that a supply that's endless, all right, an endless supply. Uh, that just continues to grow and grow and grow. Man, it's sad. But yeah, so they try to get you distracted with that. And, you know, get your eyes off the ball and stuff. And and while this thing just continues to get delayed, delayed, delayed. And then when it finally launched, it was bad, you know. I mean, real bad. Let's see here. Pulse chain. Oh my gosh, up 5% for the week. Right. And then for the week, it's up 1% for the week. Or 5% for the day, 1% for the week. Pump and dump activities, that's typical in crypto, right? I mean, we all know, right? Yes, I know. Crypto pumps and crypto dumps, I know. Uh, Overall, you can see the activity over the past month. It's, It's been on the downward trend, right? And then... Overall, for the past year, I mean, it's down for the past year, down 70%. And all time down 80%. 
So, because it's been out for about a year now, right? Let's see. We can look at the stats. I always like to look at the goal pull stats here. Tells you how many days it's been on. It's 380 days. And you can look at various activities over the past day. Oh, hold on. Let me refresh this. Make sure we're at the freshest numbers, right? This is funny looking at the sacrifices, right? The first one, PLS, 0.51x sacrifice, 0.22x sacrifice. I mean, overall, it's up for the past year from sacrifice because sacrifice is, you know, when you, you're you buying it pre-sale, of course, it's always going to be up from pre-sale, but imagine, though, that you're buying <laughs> what you bought at pre-sale and it falls below that, which is going to be coming. Man, that's, that's just sad, you know. Uh, let's see what happened over the last 90 days. So over the last 90 days, down 62%, down 58%. Down 55% even in hex. That tells you something there. All right. Let's see past week hex past month still down pretty flat for the for the month. Uh, for the year, down 88%. And of course it's going to be. Um, let's see here. It's always going to be like this from all time because you're talking at bare bottom when it first started so of course it's going to be up right from all time but imagine if it fell below that isn't that funny uh that'd be sad actually <laughs> that'd be crazy uh but yeah so let's look at the latest there i always like looking at latest comments here so these are the believers here right you know it's full sin rocket right it, these are the believers we'll hit triple zero one soon right uh, not even hex ETS could save hex. Yeah, because you know this man. When's the last time it was a penny? Let's see when's the last time it was a penny. We should look at that. Let's see, it wasn't a month. Uh, let's see, last time it was a penny wasn't that long ago. So a March. Can it get there again? Doesn't look like it. Hey, but I could be wrong. Not too bad, right? Two months, almost three months ago, it was it was still a penny. But here's here's one thing for sure: it'll never be at those all-time highs again. All right, that that event horizon when it reached all-time highs because it was just max peak hype. All right. And so all that hype build up, oh yeah, I mean, that's how it got there. And then once it got there, all the dumping that occurred, it'll never be there again. How are you going to get this new wave of buyers? You got to get replacement buyers to buy into that because the same buyers that dumped, you think they're going to come back in to do it again? No, <laughs> yeah, because it, one thing about these projects is there's no second chance, right? Um rarely 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 there's ever a second chance but more times than not there's no second chance there's no second chance pump it's ever going to happen again the ones that dumped they're gone they're gone for good there's no way uh and that they're crazy enough to go back in nor are we going to fall for that right you're going to have to convince a new wave of buyers but once they learn about this history they're just like i'm not going to go into this shit only like the newbies that don't know any better and you try to talk them into it, uh, you know, that's the only ones that can really fall for it. Yeah, but Pulse Chain, pff, what a disappointment. All right, from the launch to now, think about that, man. What a disappointment. All right, down 80% from all time highs. It's just like any other shit coin out there. And what makes you believe? Now they're going to be able to turn this thing around. What makes you believe it's going to be better than Hex? That's that's a sad thing. It's not even better than Hex. Right? Another scam by RH keeps on dumping all-time low. Then a FOMO pump and instant distribution again. Yep. Uh, let's see here. I'm bullish. This is a bot. Here you can tell. I'm bullish. I'm bullish. Bot, bot, bot. <laughs> all right? Bot, bot, bot. These are all bots. All right? 
the bot. I'm bullish. You can just tell when things are like the bots because they just keep saying the same thing with different names on it. Uh, let's see. Ten years from now, people are going to look back at these days and feel really stupid for sleeping on this. I'm hella bullish. Oh, really? Yeah, heathen, heathen hex. Yeah, if you have something like that in your name, yeah, you're one of them believers, right? Um, <laughs> PLS migration. Yeah, it's a uh, migration to zero. So, um, any movement from the developer? Uh, no. But yeah, so enough of this bullshit talk, all right? Um, you know, this is the last Memorial Day as we're going to have a memorial of the fallen drip and money tree and pulse chain as they go away for good on next Memorial Day when we will memorialize the fallen platforms of these heydays, right? I've shown you and talked about the YouTubers that are no longer here. I mean, that really tells you something, right? It was about these shitcoin projects. And, um, you know, what do you really get out of it, right? I hope you guys are not falling for this stuff now and think that if you buy it now, it's so low, it's so cheap that something's going to be coming out of it, right? Don't be like Crypto Project, right? You know, don't be like Ellie Yan, all right? Ellie Yan's a, a dumbass bitch, all right? Dumbass bitch that loved being uh, admins in different Telegram chats for different projects because she got nothing better else to do except buy shit coins and, and try to, ban, you know, swing ban hammers on people, all right? Dumb bitch. And so uh, she was always trying to showcase and show off all the shit coins she bought and I just bought more of this right she would have little battles with my, talk about shitty a shitty battle right she'll battle my crypto project on who bought the most uh, amount per you know in that day and or in that week of shit coins like yeah you guys are just straight garbage I mean the stuff I see man it's like crazy right this is some deep shit I see and I'm just like, man, you guys are rubes, and you guys are a bunch of idiots, right? But if you say shit like that, they ban you off the room. So for me, in every telegram, I've always been a fly on the wall. I just like to read it and share with you guys how stupid these people are. All right, present day stupidity, Marcos, all right? Present day bitch, too. He's a straight up bitch and stupid, dumbass piece of shit, all right? And so... Talking about blatantly, he's just doing it right in you guys' face, and you guys came to see that. And you guys are a bunch of retards for that, too. Woo, man, what a Memorial Day this has been, you know? So, um, oh, that, this is like a double Y today, because, you know, I just wanted this to sh really share with you guys how bad this stuff really is, you know? Like, look at this. It's so bad. All right? People that want to believe, and, you know, you're going to have those believers still, no matter what. Because uh, yeah, it's just one of those things that um, these guys, right, the ones that are like the barter clowns and all that, they're going to just try to maintain. They're not going to try to say, oh, no, it's bad now. Or they're not going to say, oh, buy, buy, buy. They're not going to do that either because they don't want to look like the bad guy. They're just going to just maintain, right? They're just going to just be like, you know, it, you know they're, they're going to, really just focus on oh yeah it's gonna be um, it's gonna be fine don't worry like try to keep things calm you know because they, they just want to maintain as long as possible without really pumping it all right and uh, because they don't want to look like the bad guys even though they are the bad guys because all they're gonna do is continue to dump on you uh, whenever they see fit so so buy drip now and hodl later for Black Q Finance while wow, this price is dirt cheap. Oh my God, it's so dirt cheap. But yeah, it's so dirt cheap and no one gives a damn. Right? So yeah, funny shit though. Uh, let's see, Animal Farm site back. Is it? Because, uh, let's see here, when do you talk about that? May 6th. Is it back online? Uh, is it a different site now? Because I don't see it. 
See how they're talking about update on Forex coming back and God candles is back on May 6th, right? Because they're trying to just talk, but yet there's nothing to show for. There's just talk. So it's not really showing nothing. Just talk, but no evidence, no proof of anything happening. Forex, nothing, right? Still quiet on the front. So shit like that. You know, we all know what's going on with Richard Hart. Plus, Pulse Chain has been a disappointment. I mean, when you look at those numbers I showed you guys, major disappointment. You look at Hex, why would it ever go back to all-time highs again? Because its intended purpose is to create this hype for Pulse Chain is, has been done. So the purpose of Hex is now over because there's no point, right? So the purpose of Hex, they did its job. Drip is done. Money tree has been gone. So all this shit dead in 2024. Just saying. So uh, other than that, <laughs> happy Memorial Day. All right, the end is coming near. Uh, the end of 2024. This is this the 2024 will be the end of this altogether. This wrecked collaboration. All right. So other than that, comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.